In this video we're going to look at how Autograph handles the line of intersection between two planes and to help everybody understand exactly what's going on. Uh, here is a visual solution on the right hand side. So on the left hand side let's just see, let's put an equation in and let's do 2x minus 3y equals 6 which in two dimensions is a straight line but in three dimensions of course this is a plane. So there it is in 2d with your x and y and here it is in 3D. So let's put a second plane on. Now we could do an equation or we could right click do a vector equation of a plane and that takes the form of a point and then a linear combination of two vectors. So these default values will do very nicely and there we have our second plane. Now let's just right click now select them both and edit the draw options and give them some transparency of around about 50% then we can see what's going on. OK, now we can select the two planes and right click find the intersection line and that, that gives you the answer but of course that doesn't help you understand how that's done but at least we've got the answer now and here is the vector equation of the line and also the angle between the two planes. Next, let's press Control and drag to get a closer look. Now when the image is full of objects it's quite difficult to do this operation so you want this button here for drag and then you can move things around without selecting anything. So I'm going to put a point on the line. Now it's not always obvious, you know, you could put a point on the plane but is the point on the line? Let's just delete that. Well the way to find out is to make sure by selecting it and then moving the X if you move the Y it doesn't go anywhere and if you move the Z it doesn't go anywhere because it is constrained to go on that line. So that's good. Now what we want to do is draw the normal unit vectors from this point in respect to each of the two planes. So let's do this point here and this plane and right click normal unit vector. Okay it's around the back it would be so let's just use the hand now and go to the other side and there it is. So now we want to do the same point but also put the other plane and right click. I've probably got the first plane still selected, I have. So this point and this plane and right click normal unit vector. Perfect. Again go to the hand and see what's going on. If you press shift you can move the whole scene. So if you press control on its own the whole scene is coming in and out. So what we want to do now is to establish that the line of intersection is in the direction that is mutually perpendicular to the two perpendicular unit vectors. OK, so the best thing to do now is to do a cross product. So if we do this vector and this vector and put the answer here and then do a right click cross product by the right hand screw law we do indeed get a vector going down in this direction. So that establishes quite clearly that the line of intersection between two planes is in the direction that is mutually perpendicular to the two perpendicular unit vectors. Mm -hmm.